by Vibrations and Gossip! <laughs> Hot on, did you know today is that Mama Pima mm -hmm. is selling a hardware store on the market to the highest bidder. Yeah! Oh, okay, so, 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 Mama Tell P, me. how are you? Oh, yo, 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 this is Mama P in the house, oh. throwing you the latest vibes eternal. Yo, that's my rhyme, man! Oh, yeah. That's Dodge's rhyme release for him here on CDF FM by Mama P, my yo! Yeah, 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 so, 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 Mama P, tell us about the hardware. Oh, yes, it's going to the highest bidder who makes the call now. Uh -huh. I need serious buyers only. Now it's time mm -hmm. for you to talk the vibe, eh? mm -hmm. Highest bidder. Mama P, ma, stop the sale now. Why? I've got clearance from the chief. I said stop the sale because you have a buyer. <laughs> the old hardware has already been sold to Mr. Barack! Hey. <laughs> no, 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 listen, in the meantime, he's a theme from our very own Red. Aww. From way back in time. This mm. is to you, Red. Aww. Aww. By the way, I'm here on behalf of Mr. Mabuki. <sighs> now this is what I hate. You're not the buyer, but you're talking like the buyer. <sighs> oh, now you're stopping the sale for nothing. It's not for nothing. I'm buying everything. Oh, really? <laughs> but I don't want this thing of you don't like this, you don't like that. Everything is going. Take everything to my place. Okay, you are the buyer. Transport is your responsibility. No transport, no sale. Okay, give me your phone, I call somebody. Kenya has got a coastline on the Indian Ocean. Along that coastline are mangrove forests. Who can tell me what is mangrove? Yes, Nina? It is a type of vegetation that grows on the coast. Very good. Up in the inland, we've got many other physical features. We've got plateaus, hills, mountains, valleys, and East Africa is home for Africa's largest mountains. Some of them include Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya, and... Uh... Yes, Grace? Mount Renzori. Very good. Then who can show me on that map? Mau Forest, which is one of the largest forests in... Uh... Kenya. Hello? Hello? You have to take the wheelbarrow. Whether it's used or not, I don't care. You said you'll take everything, so you have to take everything. Mama Pema, I am a businessman. There's no way I'm going to pay for something that no one is going to buy from me. You're changing goalposts again, Mabuki. It's a matter of principle. If I can't sell it, I can't buy it. OK. I'm sure I can find some use for an extra wheelbarrow on my phone. Mr. <clears throat> Dad, could I please talk to you for a minute? I don't have a minute. Please. You spent the past year dragging me through your ingratitude. Why should you expect me to have a minute for you? I'm sorry about that. You should be. The show now goes to all you ladies out there. <laughs> you know, sad girls say that all good boys are token. <laughs> but smart girls say that all good boys are token. If you work hard at it, mm. you will get your token. token. Now stay tuned as we tell you how to hook and stay hooked to a good boy. The next ballad goes out to Doji D, aka Russell T in the house here. And Bill, 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 Billy Best. Are you still single and searching or are you hooked? Next time you're reading those stupid romance issues of yours, don't mention my name. <laughs> Mine too. What can we do? All right. Uh, 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 okay. We go and see Nancy. She's the one who gave them the job, and now she can see that they're messing it up. 
Let's do it. You foolish boda boda! I told you you can't ride. Concentrate on riding donkeys, not bikes. Hey, don't blame me if you're slow. Time is money. Ah. Mama Pima, I told you everything yesterday. Why didn't you tell it to these wazes before you called me? Talk about what? Fuel prices have gone up so much, and I don't want to hear people telling me about prices of last week. State your price for moving all these merchandise to my home store, and we get moving. Well, these are very many trips. So if you don't have 500 shillings, I'm not going to work for you. Get moving. Where, well, Drenny, when do you ever get to teach? I see you here at the trading center with your border border nearly every day. Mr. Barak. This world is for the fast and furious. Survival for the fittest. Man, eat pants aside. You know, if you sleep, you starve. That is life for today. You have to be everywhere, every time. And that is the world of today. Shut up, you guys. Get back to your chairs. You guys, stop it. No! At the moment, I am the teacher and I rule all of you. Sit down! Now! Who's supposed to be teaching you? Teacher Drani, madam. And where is he? Um, he went out, but he said he'll be back soon. Did I hear teacher Drenny leave on his motorbike? Oh, no. Are you sure? I didn't hear anything. Go back to your seats. You know, I'm the kind of guy who's in touch with my feminine side, huh? But, dude, what? Can't you see that she's ignoring you? Can't you see that I'm splitting my lyrics? You know chicks dig a guy who's in touch with his feminine side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I was saying, may I deploy Nonsense. That's what you get for being on your feminine side. Have you guys heard of the saying that walls have ears? Shh. Uh, which walls? <laughs> Harris, why are you doing this to me? I pay back everything. Yeah, but your security is not viable. The bar is under contention and everyone in Makutano knows that. I can't call you for you for a loan with the bar as collateral. It's for that that I need you. That I need your help. If you don't help me, I'll lose it. I'll be bending the rules if I give you that money. Please do. I'm perfectly sure that with the revenue that I get from the bar, I'll be able to pay all my installments in time without raising suspicion. I could lose my job if I give you that money. You won't lose it. Caris. I promise. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Just go. Uh, Mr. Mabuki, you've also seen the amount of work that I have done. These things were even much more than I thought. You didn't use any fuel. Here, okay. Add one hundred. Just I'm one. I'm not hundred. giving you one shilling more. Oh, Mr. Baraka, please talk to Mr. Mabuki. Tell him he's seen the amount of work that I have done. Imagine, I left the work that I was doing to come and do this job, and now see what he's paying me. All right, I'll give you the one hundred shillings you want if you take the wheelbarrow to mine. I'll do it right now, sir. Just now, right away. Look, I can only deal with one issue at a time. And as you can see, I'm handling this application. And yet you want me to listen to you at the same time. Our issue is to do with behavior and the radio station. This is not the time to discuss CDF work. So come back some other time. Excuse me. The, 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 those girls are driving us insane. Thank you. I told you I am not discussing the radio station. 
Go and come back some other time. There's no excuse. You're on the school management committee. You should know better. You're right. I mean, as a member of the community and stakeholders of the school, it is your responsibility to ensure the teachers are in school doing what the government pays them to do. And they have all the holidays and the weekends to do their private businesses. But right now, I don't understand why this teacher is here while his class is unsupervised. Uh, to speak the truth, Madam Headmistress, I did actually ask him why he was out of class during working hours, but the impression he gave me was that uh, it was okay. Yes, me too. And who called you here anyway? It's true, girls. You can have a great time yeah. with a guy who plays to your phone and just be yourself. And, you know, create a romance that is artful and full of passion on your terms. Mm. I mean, that's where today's woman is headed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, let me ask you, is your man oh. not afraid to live on his feminine side? Oh. You know, spitting lyrics and not afraid <laughs> to cry like Doji D. <laughs> or is he, you know, plain old-fashioned yeah. like Bill and Bill. Bill. You know Bill. <laughs> <laughs> he should have told me himself that he was in class teaching. Then I would have called another Boda Boda. Anyway, I did that because he's my relative. And that's exactly the problem. What is? Drain here is your relative. There's no way you're going to reprimand him for dodging classes. The ministry should just stop this idea of posting back teachers to their home villages. No one is willing to report them when they do something wrong. That's very true. We should all take the initiative of reporting teachers when they do something wrong. When you see a fire burning a house, do you stop by to warm yourself or do you call the firefighters? Firefighters? Then why is it that when your children's education is being compromised, you sit back and do nothing and just blame someone else? Drenny, let's go. Oh. Is it approved? Would you approve it? Well... There's no security. Commitment to repayment of installments is vague. Would you approve it? Carrie seemed genuine. He said that if he manages to save the bar, then he'll be able to meet the installment. You're not answering my question, Nancy. You deliberately falsified information in those forms to make them look legit. In my shoes, would you approve it? I wouldn't, but... I just thought since Carissa's... You have answered my question, thank you. I'll never do it again, I swear. Madam, my family, madam. You don't deserve to be forgiven. We are trying to improve on our school's performance and instead of teaching the students, you're busy wasting time in the market. Madam, I'm not the only one. Madam, if you punish me, other people will be affected. Madam, we are many. Teacher Mwapenda is the other one. Every market day, she goes to the market to sell second-hand clothes. I'm sorry, madam. Please, Shaka, I missed the pony once. Don't report me. That was a very silly thing to do. Carice, of all people. I don't know what I was thinking. He seemed so genuine. How could you risk your job for such a... I don't understand you, Nancy. Please. We'll talk when I get back. There's also teacher Joy who goes to sell eggs every Friday to city council kiosks in Nairobi. Those are five so far, which means that most of my teachers disappear during market days. Yes, and... It's true to say that even most of the children don't come to school on market days. Even if you were a student, would you come to school and there are no teachers to teach you? Now you go bring your colleagues here and we'll find a way of dealing with all of you. Please, Madam Headmistress, don't include me there. I'm going to give you more names. There are more? Our phone number is 5606. Now, Tony, let me ask you. Mm. Does Doji D 
aka Russell T, the Makutano king of rhyming, mm. qualify to be a celebrity like the Connor Kings? Well, does Dodgy D have any records released? He has the lyrics, and uh, him and his friend Bill used to be presenters on this radio. So maybe, just maybe, they are celebrities. Well, there we have it. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> Bill and Dodgy are our local celebs. Oh, and they are now mm -hmm. in our list of local celebrities you'd you want, want to, to date. date. <laughs> Now you go bring them here and tell them that you're the one who's given them in. And then we'll find a way of dealing with all of you. Uh, even me after telling you everything that I've told you? Now you go do what I've told you to do and we'll find a way to reward you. If at all, you will be rewarded. Look, I understand how this is difficult for you right now. I can't understand, Caris. I'm in a lot of trouble. I could lose my job. I didn't mean to drag you into this, but I had no choice. Mabuki would not forgive me if I lost the bar, especially to a matata. Shaka was just doing his job. It's me who messed up. But you could have explained to him that it was about saving the bar. But what about saving my job, Chris? Nancy, your job and the bar are two totally different things. You can't just lose a property like this anyhow. And you can't just lose my job anyhow. You're the most self-centered and selfish person I've ever come across. And I regret putting myself in trouble for you. Look, I'm trying to save a family legacy, not just your job. <sighs> Nani. You must take initiative. <laughs> Don't wait for instructions on everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she had a valid point there. We are afraid to speak out. Everybody just wants to wait and follow. That is to be expected. You know, pushing people into thinking for themselves so that they can take action is not always the easiest thing. Yeah, but to move uh, Kenya forward, everybody must think for themselves. Dad? So I'm dad now. I know I only become dad when you have need to be pulled out of a pit. So what is it this time? Go easy on the boy. He is not the first prodigal son. Joseph is taking over the bar. What is happening? I'm packing up my things, sir. The files for the accounts that are an investigation are in the cabinet over there. I don't understand. Who gave you the directive to pack? You implied it when you left, sir. Can you quit calling me, sir? I said we'll talk when I get back. I didn't ask you to pack. Nancy, don't let emotions guide your decision making. You made that mistake once when you voted for Caris. You're making it again now by sucking yourself before you actually sucked. You just might put that idea in my head. I still want to work here, Shaka. It was one isolated mistake. And a very miscalculated mistake, if you ask me. I didn't know you could trust Garis. Neither did I. Well, I'm not going to give him the benefit of occupying my time by discussing about him. Get back to work. Really? Yeah, I said get back to work. <laughs> oh. All those who feel that it is stupid to sit in the staff room and wait to be consulted by the students, which is what you're paid to do. Write down your names here, and I will forward your complaints and your names to your superiors, and they will know what action to take. I take it then that we're all comfortable with the conditions under which we're working? Yes. I mean, in fact, I'm very, very comfortable. All those who agree with teacher Dreni, raise your hands. That is everyone. So, you're willing to invest your time and skills to what you are paid by the government to do and not going around running your other errands, yeah? Yes. In fact, me, I'm very, very willing. I'm more than willing, madam. Good. Follow me. We must intervene, Mr. This bar has been central to the growth of Makutano into what it is today. 
My father was very proud of me when I put it up that many years ago. My father loved it too. He was unhappy when I sold you the land until you put up this magnificent structure. He said the city had come into us, the first double story in Makutano. It was worth the risk. Very true. We took initiative. But the initiative has been compromised. I wish that wasn't the case. Baraka, I don't have the kind of money they want. You saw me spend my last penny in there. I think there's something I can do. Silence means consent. I'm off. Not sure. Me, I don't want it. Is there anyone else who doesn't like my decision? Raise your hand. Come and tell us how we're going to do this. Just like we have student monitors, we should have teacher monitors who report to you when they don't come to class or when they do something bad. Do we all agree with that? Yes. yes. Do any of you teachers have a problem with this suggestion? No. In fact, that is the best, madam. Uh, the students should just report us. You know, they should not cover up for us if you don't come and teach. They should just report. Good. Students, you have power over your teachers' performances, so make sure you make the best use of it. Yes, Nina? Teacher, I have an idea. What's wrong with you chicks? Wait, we work with music. Yeah, this is the only way we can work. Is that your idea? No, it's their own initiative. Maybe this time the parents will listen to them. It looks to me like that younger generation are not afraid to speak out. Baraka, are you sure you have left the bank manager alive? Why? <laughs> looks like you just robbed a bank. What I did can fall under that category. Karis, here is the money you needed, under one condition. Your father and I take over the ownership of this bar. You can stay if you want, but as an employee. It doesn't look like you have much of a choice, son. I don't. So it's a deal. I brought some papers for you to sign. Where did you get all that money from? From my farm. Some fellow had been after me to sell him cows, so I did. But I hope Bernadette doesn't get to know about this because one of the cows I sold was our favorite. <laughs> going to intervene. I have enough problems of my own without having to worry about this bickering youth.
so long, we have been blaming everyone else except ourselves when things go wrong at the school. But the good thing is that we're now beginning to face the problems together as teachers, parents and students. On my part, I have realized that it's very important to be actively involved in problem solving at the school. Teacher absenteeism teaches children of a lot of valuable study and development time. Even though the government pays for education, the school staff still owe us support. As members of the community, it is your responsibility to take initiative and ensure that the teachers are always in their school, doing what you, the taxpayer, has paid them to do. For more information on this topic, simply text the word study together with your name and address to the number 5606 and we shall send you a free leaflet. Tukutane Makutano.